So, ladies and gentlemen, we enter our next contest, Bulgaria versus Spain, and I am joined by, let's call him the GOAT, the greatest ever, Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Hust. Yeah. Ernesto, I'm not just happy to commentate with you, uh -huh. but and I'm never a fanboy, no. but working with you is an honor. And oh, really, I, I want to say thank you once again for mm -hmm. the entertainment and the dedication you put into fighting, kickboxing. Every time I watch a replay of mm -hmm. you fighting, I see something new. And at my old age of 56 and a little bit, um, I still learn something new by watching you. So it, it's just incredible. And really, you are a true legend. Thank you. Great to hear. So. Enough of that out of the way, let's get on with business. Andy Sauer, our referee, another K1 legend who was commentating on our previous contest. So, Konstantin Stoikov from Bulgaria in the blue corner, just 20 years of age, Ernesto, and he's facing from Spain, Carlos Garcia. Yeah. So it's a 20-year-old facing a 33-year-old. Carlos Garcia has over 100 fights, 68 wins, but... 37 losses. Yeah. Now, Konstantin Stoikov from Bulgaria, just 20 years of age, a youngster, mm -hmm. only five Whoa. wins. Mm -hmm. So, the experience difference is absolutely huge, yeah. but we don't know about the quality difference, that's it, which is all important. Yeah, well, exactly like you say it. Uh, and he starts, uh, he starts off. Uh, Maybe as a beginner, because he, uh, I, it looks like he he uh, puts a lot of pace, a lot of energy in the beginning. Well, nice body shot there. No shortage of, uh, of confidence from the young man, I have to say. Yeah, well, he, he looks like he's experienced. Like with the back fist, with the spinning back kick. It all looks good. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, we have their pro record, so he's got five pro fights. Uh -huh. Well, sorry, he's got uh, seven fights, um, five wins, one draw and one loss. Yeah. But that doesn't tell us anything about his amateur record. No. No, exactly. And he looks so composed, he looks so relaxed. And uh, He's got a huge reach it, it, it advantage. Looks like, it looks like he is the more, more experienced fighter here. Yeah. Wow, well, that was a lovely right hand there. Yeah. And he's going upstairs, downstairs, to yeah. the body and to yeah. the head. Yeah, he varies his punches and his kicks. High to low with the kicks and with the punches. Yep, he's attacking and countering as well. I mean, it looks like they're in two different weight categories from here. This is under 70 kilos. Well, the one is 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 small and more composed, and uh, and the Bulgarian guy is he's what what longer, but more skinny, I think. But Garcia, here, I don't know whether he's apprehensive mm -hmm. or if it's the fact that he can't find his range at the moment. Yeah. Which of you, of which you should think like okay he must have some experience so uh, he must be able to to cope with it. Now this was a good move from him. That was a nice that was a nice combination yeah, left combination. right low kick. Yeah. But but lacking in power. Yeah. Well maybe it's uh, just a tryout for him. And Stoikov here. Yeah, Stoikov shows shows the power, especially in the hands. There's that combination again, but I don't think that's going to worry Stoikov at all. No, I don't think so. Stoikov is just more explosive. And you can feel that he's working Garcia out. Yeah. He's looking for openings. It's the first round. Mm. Oh, interesting round. Interesting round, which, yeah. I, which we have to give. On, well, on my card, which was incorrect in the previous fight, <laughs> <laughs> against, I, went, I went against Andy Sauer and he got it right. But okay. that round there, the first round of this contest, Bulgaria facing Spain. I'm going to give it 10-9 yeah. to Stoikov from Bulgaria. Yeah, me too. In the blue corner, he's got the power, he's got the range, and for a 20-year-old... he got the skill too. He's got skill and very yeah. confident. Yeah. Against, a, sure. against an opponent with huge experience. Yeah. 
Yeah, but, but it's funny. I mean, I'm still not into that, but uh, he's making the calf kicks. Yes, you, I, I remember. I, 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 I you saw, told me is yeah. this is one of your things that if someone tried doing that to you in your prime, you'd have you'd have snapped their leg. I believe so. Yeah, but but it's funny to see that he is doing it. Yeah, and it's it, becoming more. These techniques are becoming more popular. Uh, yeah, becoming very popular. And in, in MMA as well. From yeah, basically it comes from MMA, I think. That was a nice feint there with a the kick and yeah. then a left hook. Yeah. No. Superman punch. Now, if you were Garcia, mm -hmm. I mean, he's got to close the distance. Yeah. And I mean, oh, that was a nice right hand. Uh, he yeah. got to close the distance, but he also feels the pressure. But he's got two options. He can close the distance mm -hmm. and, and try try and come underneath. Yeah. Or he can chop the leg and slow Stoikov down, neither of which he's doing. I don't think he has the quality to do that. Yeah, and I think as he's th you see the way he's moving and the, yeah. and the techniques he's throwing, he's apprehensive about being countered. He looks like he's insecure. Oh, lovely oh. knee there. Right knee. A right knee right up through the middle. Oh. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was great. But Garcia has recovered. Yeah. But that's going to give Stoikov huge confidence to finish sure. the fight. Yeah. He smells blood now. Yeah. But showing great composure, yeah. actually. Lovely body shot. Yes. Right hand over the top. Another right hand. Garcia is wobbled. Another knee. <laughs> right hand. He's well, really teeing off He knows here. what to do now. And uh, he knows that... Uh, his opponent will, is not that dangerous for him now, so he's getting more and more confident. Yeah, no, nobody wants to get hit. No. But if you know that your opponent hasn't got the power to knock you out, yeah. then you don't mind committing up uh, more than you would do. Yeah, exactly. So Garcia's face here red. He's attempting a body shot there. Lovely punches yeah, well, from tries. Stoikov there. Uh, Garcia, he tries, but you know that, that you have to uh, give it to them, to him. Uh, he he, he really is really trying, but he's lacking the power. He's lacking the the right uh, skills and everything. So he's, he's not going to make it. I hope for him that he will reach the the end of uh, the end of the, the third round. Well, he's coming forward. He's coming forward and he's making good moves now. But it doesn't look that dangerous. Soskov is not, is not worried about it at all. That's what you see. Exactly. Exactly. If he's coming forward. He's, uh, he's got the techniques, but there's, not, there's no real power there there's in no this power class. In it. Yeah. And, and you see that right hand there through yeah. the guard, yeah. Yeah, Stoiskov has the power. Although he is very skinny, uh, it, it looks very powerful. So there we go, the end of the second round. This fight, these exciting fights just seem to go quicker than any others. Um, it so is, yeah. Maybe because it is a, 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 an interesting fight. And yeah. Also, uh, but he, he, he has to put more pressure in. Uh, he should try to put a little bit more power in his in his punches and do a little bit more in that case then uh, Garcia is uh, chanceless. It would be fantastic if we could hear what um, Stoikov's corner are telling him now. Yeah. Because at this level, mm -hmm. well, you, you don't want, you never get paid for overtime in this game. No. So you don't want to spend any more time in there than you have to. No. But I feel that he could finish the fight. Yeah. Um, I think so too. <laughs> Garcia there coming out like he's like he's uh, winning the round, winning the, the first and second rounds maybe, but um, he's got it all to do here if we go into the third round. And listen, guys, in the fight game, anything can happen. Yeah, that's true. That, that's what nice. What's nice about fighting? It can be finished before you know it. And that was okay. ju just good, move. nice body shot. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Garcia looks like an experienced guy, 
who <laughs> knows that he will lose, but he's still he's still trying. That's how he looks like for me. Yeah, you're, you're talking about a journeyman in, in boxing. Something like that. Um, yeah. I mean, he's got 68 wins, but he's had yeah. a well over a, uh, 100 fights. But actually, Ernesto, he's got 21 knockouts on his record. Okay. So I don't know what weight he was fighting at when he was knocking people out. Well, maybe in the beginning of his career or something. Now he's upping the pace here. Um, well, he tries and uh, he, he puts the pressure. But it, it looks like uh, when Stoichkov is... Uh, is, is, is accelerating one time, then uh, he, he, he will be in trouble. Yeah. And I think we're seeing, and I don't, I don't want to insult anyone, but a lack of maturity from Stoikov. Because if he started bullying yeah. and dominating mm -hmm. um, Garcia now, he mm -hmm. could finish this fight. Yeah, but I well, don't think he understands how, how maybe much not, power but, he's got. But he, has a, he has also has a corner to, 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 to tell him that. And uh, now he's fighting backwards, so I don't know if it's a, a conditional, conditional, no problem or something, because he's not working so much. And you're absolutely right, he's been on the back foot for the whole of this third round. Yeah. In my, in my opinion, he's losing the third round at, at this moment. Yeah. From, punch, from punches and kicks landed. Exactly. Um, and he hasn't done anything particularly damaging in this third round. Oh, maybe he That's thinks, uh, maybe he is, uh, he is uh, convinced that he won the first two rounds and he doesn't have to, to work that hard anymore. Or something well, like that. we don't want to see that. Oh, well, oh. Nice, as we say that, a nice left hand. Yeah, but he doesn't continue, he doesn't follow up. Yeah. Now he, now he does a little bit, but he wait, he's waiting, he's waiting. He's yeah, when he landed that knee earlier on in the fight, mm -hmm. he could have... He Capitalized on that. Yeah. You've got to have that killer instinct, and you've got to know when your opponent's hurt. I think he knows, but I don't know if it is a condition thing or something, uh, experience thing. Gum shields come out there from Stoikov, and he's sour right on the on the ball here. Going to put it back in, and Garcia is growing in confidence. Yeah, he's growing Too in late. confidence, but he has no time anymore. 12 I think. seconds to go of this third and final round. Yeah. And lovely kickboxing here as we as we hear the final bell. Garcia there, happy. That he's involved in a fantastic fight. I'm sure yeah, he happy, maybe happy that he made it to the last <laughs> that round, he survived, to the yep. last uh, bell. Um, now I think we know what the judges are going to decide. Oh, Garcia, there. Uh, I don't think he's uh, showing everyone that he thinks he's won, but he's just showing everyone respect. Uh, That's what I think. Now Stoikov there, early in his career, only 20 years of age, but mm -hmm. uh, I think with the right training and the right guidance, he could be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I think so too. So we go to the judges' scorecards. I've scored it every, no, I haven't scored it every round mm -hmm. to Stoikov. I agree with you, Ernesto, that that final round could have well been Garcia's. Um, yeah, he was the I think busier it was, fighter, it he was, was coming forward. Yeah. But More aggressive, I think, but lacking power. Yeah, but lacking power and, and, and no good scores. Not enough good scores. So I think that the third round should, could be an, a draw. Mm. Um, okay. But I think we agree the fight's going to go to the blue corner. Yeah. Also, it's going to go to Bulgaria. With the scores, 30 to 26. Oh, okay. 30 to 26 and 30 to 26. In favor of the blue corner, Konstantin Stoikov. So there we go, Stoikov okay. from Bulgaria. And you can hear the crowd loving the home favorite winning For that sure. contest. Yep. A young man. And actually, part of Senchi's mission is not just to showcase world-class fights, but to bring on young guys and create new legends.
One, yeah. one issue we've had since your era, Ernesto, uh -huh. mm -hmm. there's been a big gap. Um, in yeah, the, in the late sure. 90s and 2000s, yeah. K1 was just magical. Yeah. And but since then, okay, we, we see other events with Badahari, Gokansaki, and, and a few of these guys. Yeah, Glory came, but Glory doesn't have the the aura that K1 has. No. no. But as I said yesterday, I love I love to watch to to watch Glory fights, but. And and what I what I like more about Glory is they doing all the weights, and and K1 was only first only concentrating on the heavyweights, and then later when Masato came, they made uh, they weighed K1 max and the 70 kilogram yeah. weight, and the other ways they they forgot, and that's too bad. In the beginning they did all the weights, but when they saw that uh, the they had they had some 70 kilo guy. They made K1 Max, yeah. and that, uh, that just, just too bad, I think. But, uh, but 